All right, so on today's agenda, we are gonna get the pickup truck going. Actually, it's not much to that uh, because we're gonna need it today when we are towing our brand spanking new land plane. Now we took this thing for a spin. Uh, the ground I believe was too wet though. Uh, but my son made this for me. I helped my son. He usually, you know, that sounds strange saying it like that, but uh, he's actually a much better welder and fabricator than I ever could hope to be. But uh, so he, uh, he put these materials together and as you can see, it's pretty heavy duty. We've got some big I-beams here and a big piece of angle iron up front uh, with some rippers and then we've got a crossbar going like this and a crossbar and you can't see, but this crossbar ends, uh, it doesn't go all the way to this bar. It ends where the dirt's gonna hit this, come to this and in theory move over and then hit this back bar. And there was supposed to be an additional uh, third rake coming off the back here to actually kick the rocks off. That's a future uh, deal. We only had so much time at the shop, so we did what we could. We put this thing together in three hours, or we. You, you hear how I keep using the word we? My son did, I just kind of helped. Um, so, uh, all welded together with dual shield and uh, really, really strong. So this thing should hold up well over the years. But the idea is to get our road in shape and, uh, and looking good again, because we got some gigantic ruts. So we're gonna take the skiddy here and we're gonna uh, unchain it. We're gonna flip it around. Uh, maybe I could flip it around like it is. Anyways, I'm gonna attempt to drag this with my truck. Uh, the other day we weren't able to. The ground was just a little slippery. This The skiddy could just barely handle it. Uh, so uh, with this extra weight, hopefully, uh, once we start dragging this, this dirt will fill in the low spots and we'll kind of lose it and we'll have a minimum amount of dirt that's actually collecting in here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, we got her spun around, got her hooked up. So all we need to do is bring the truck over and, and uh, see if we can tow this. Well, I went to start my truck and I guess I left the snowplow button on again. And uh, that's something I gotta fix. It's just, it's too vulnerable. Anyways, we got a flat lined battery. I don't know how many more of those this, this poor little thing can take, but uh, anyways, we'll get it charged up, get the truck started and see what we can do. Well, she finally kicked off, so good got this puppy running it's a long time no smell Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, I could pull it for a little ways, and then you could. Uh, that should give you the, the movement right there. I think you. Do that yeah, but I think you got to suck up more on this side.
I can sell soft stuff all right. It does a really good job with that soft stuff. I would say it was fairly successful but we did find a weakness in the build and I was kind of surprised when this broke but after thinking about it for a little while this weld looks pretty anemic this was one I did not Clancy <laughs> so we're actually gonna we cut some teeth and I don't know if these are gonna work but these are out of some spring steel and we're gonna weld them on the end of these because these are already rounded off just that little bit that we did with the mild steel that's just not gonna hold up and eventually I know we're gonna have to put something under here too uh so you know that's going to be a future update as well we'll have to probably what do you think uh, levi weld a piece of spring steel on the bottom of that for a cutting edge too yeah <clears throat> this hump out in the middle. Overall, I think the land plane worked pretty good. I was pretty satisfied with the performance of it. The only thing is, you know, we did have that break right there, which was, you know, to me amazing, but that was actually my weld that I put there, so it didn't surprise me that bad. But uh, gonna need a little deeper rippers because rippers are kind of like key to this whole function of this whole thing. So when we welded those little short rippers on, it did a lot better. But because they're spring steel, uh, the weld hardened the metal and they just kind of broke off but uh, I didn't put them on there that good anyways. But it sort of proved to me that, you know, that's what these need 
is the rippers, especially for the hard ground. Those rocks are murder though. If I ever put a, you know, if I ever put a road down, I'll never, never, never put those big rocks on it. It's just, um, that's just a big waste of, uh, I mean, you could never grade it afterwards. So, uh, I don't know why people do such things. Pretty ridiculous. But anyways, yeah, overall, pretty big success. Happy with it. Um, it does a pretty good job. Of course, if I had gone over it a few more times, uh, we'd be making it look really good. But again, until we get those rippers fixed. But maybe we'll have a part two. So, all right, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you on the next video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. If you like the video. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, check out my son's channel. What's your channel? Yeah, so check out my, my, my TikTok, uh, Living406. So. <clears throat> all right, man. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds good, man. All right, we'll see you guys later.